Greetings guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Welcome back to The Amazing Plant Project. My name's Kate, and today's kind of a PSA about the whole COVID-19 situation. Now, um, I know a lot of people use plant-based medicines and supplements and things. So do I. Um, I tend to not have that much faith in uh, medical professionals, as it were, just because there's a there's a history there. That being said, I cannot stress enough how much this is one of those times that regardless of anything else, listen to what the medical professionals say. If you are asymptomatic or if you, if you're completely fine, go right on ahead, take whatever immune boosting things that you usually do, um, Echinacea really doesn't work for me, but it works for a lot of people. Turmeric is really good, but if you have like gastrointestinal issues, not that great. You might need to ration it. But there's a lot of things that are very strong immune boosters in natural form. However, it's important to remember that even though the plant itself might be generally good, the properties and the makeup aren't static. The growing conditions and water accessibility and location that the plant was grown in and the amount of sun that it had while it was growing all contribute to the concentration of compounds in the plant material. And in a lot of cases, in order to get the full benefits that the plants have, you have to consume rather high quantities. For some, it's just a little bit just like for some poisons, it's just a little bit before it activates. You need to know how your system reacts to certain things. But if you feel any symptoms, call your doctor. This is not a time that you should mess around with just finagling something out of the spice cabinet if you start feeling poorly. There's a lot of situations that... Oh, well, it's, it's over there. It's, it's not affecting me. This is a worldwide thing. Everyone is impacted. Hopefully, you're able to self-isolate and stay home. Or, and practice social distancing. I know, uh, I know there's some who are on the front lines of this who do not have that ability. And for that, for those manning the food stores and the hospitals and the pharmacies, the, the essentials, like the actual essentials, thank you. Really. This is probably the only, or this might be, <laughs> this might be the only video that I make about the COVID-19 situation, but as someone 
in the ethnobotany, particularly the medical ethnobotany field. I am not a medical professional. I'm just going to say that. I am not a medical professional. I don't have medical training, as it were. I have botanical training, and I know what works for my system particularly. But what works for me might not work for somebody else. In a lot of cases, medicines that have gone through trials and testing and peer review and studies upon studies have a high rate of e efficacy. That's why they're approved to be used. Yes, there are issues sometimes, but that's why they're approved to be used. So, if you start feeling poorly, call your doctor and do what they say. The number of times that I've heard someone say, oh, well, I went to the doctor, but I don't want to take this medicine. Take the meds. If you're prescribed something or you're told to do something, do it. This is not a time to play around. Seriously. If the supplements that you take don't counteract with the meds that you need, or whatever it is that you're told to do, and you have clearance from the doctors that you, wo that you work with to continue taking them, go for it. A lot of times medication can lower um, the, the vitality of gut bacteria or what have you, so um, probiotics and vitamins and stuff usually help with that. But sometimes they interact negatively with whatever the medication is. So keep that in mind. But do what your doctor says. As much as I'm a fan of herbalism and traditional herbal medical practices as a method of going out and harvesting your own healing, if you will. A lot of times, there's a certain level of uncertainty because the compounds that are present in one plant might be about here, and another plant that might be about here, even if it's just like in the same area, but a different patch of ground. So in conclusion, while I appreciate the home remedy, shall we say, side of things, and I mean, I, I drink dandelion and nettle tea a lot. That's, that's my usual go-to. If you start feeling like there's an issue, self-isolate and, like, stick yourself in quarantine even more than you already are and call a medical professional to see what you need to do next. It might not be COVID-19. It might just be a cold or the flu or you had an allergic reaction to pollen or something. Because that's happening now too. But this is not a time to play around with what ifs and go on the assumption that everyone's fine. There's more videos coming out in the very near future. I'll probably have something up tomorrow and whatnot. 
starting a new little mini-series called Botany Bites. It's kind of a spin-off of the botany snippets that didn't quite take off from a couple months ago, so there's that. Um, but yeah, just when you're when you're dealing with your health and the health of those around you, because this is a very, very communicable disease. Very much. Stay safe. For your sake and the rest of the general community at large. Stay safe. Keep yourself aware of your surroundings. Drink water. And disinfect everything as much as you can. So, with that, I will sign off for now. And um, the usual uh, last video, something YouTube thinks you might like. And if you want further updates and plant things, uh, hit the subscription subscribe button and the bell icon next to it. Till next time. See you later, everybody. Stay safe.